guys, me again. So for Christmas, my dad gave me some money. So I've taken some of that money and I've bought some seeds, yay. I could have spent an absolute fortune. I like getting seeds from all the companies, all the big companies, there's a few little ones as well. I found them through um, eBay. Um, so I like to support them as well. And it's a great time of year to buy seeds because there's loads of seed sales on. So um, I bought from a few different places because they all had seed uh, the sale on. I've bought seed from Sutton's, the Organic Seed Company, Thompson & Morgan, and a little company called The Happy Green Shop as well, which I can highly recommend. It's a little company. I found them on eBay. I didn't realise that they do have their own website. I don't know how long that's been up and running, but I went on their own website. They've got a massive sale on, guys, massive. So go over there. If you're looking for some seeds, go over to The Happy Green Shop. Hopefully the seed sale is still on. Yeah, so let me tell you what I um, am planning to do. So I grow potatoes every year and I get from this um, seed company and they deliver them. I always go for the same potato because they're lovely, but the last few years they haven't done great for me. Then last year they started rotting before I even got them in the ground because I thought I'm not putting them in the ground yet. I'm not going to do it. It's too cold. And um, I kept them a bit longer and they started rotting. I'm wondering, because I usually put them in the ground sooner, is that what's happening to them? Is that why they're not coming up? Yeah, I'm not doing loads of potatoes this year. I am doing potatoes. I'm just going to do one variety. I'm going to go for a salad potato, something like a charlotte. I'll just go to Home Bargains or B&M and grab a bag. And I've got a little bed and I've already dug that over and adding compost to it. So I've worked out I can get maybe about 18 potatoes in that. So if I go and get maybe a two kilogram bag, that'll be plenty of potatoes this year. So that's all I'm doing there. I am going to be doing butternut squashes, courgettes and pumpkins. They're easy, really easy to grow, really easy to maintain. The vines go everywhere so it fills your plot out, fills your your, your bed out. And I've got to grow pumpkins because my son, you know, he loves, we love carving pumpkins at, at Halloween. So yeah, I'm going to do burnet squash, courgette and pumpkins. Then I'm going to do lettuce, beetroot and spring onions. I'm going to be doing climbing French beans which will be either uh, Cobra or Blue Lake. I also do my flat beans, which is a cross between a runner bean and a French bean. Lovely, I love them. Oh, the variety is helder. Then I'm going to do a few beans for drying. I've got so many dry beans now, I don't think I, I need to do that many this year. So I'm just going to do Trail of Tears and Pea Bean, they're my absolute favourite beans. Sweet corn, I've got to do sweet corn. I haven't bought any seeds yet. I bought some seeds last year called Moonshine. Oh, and they were amazing. It's an F1 variety. But this year they want £4.50 for a packet. And I know last year I got them for like a pound because they were on sale. So I don't know, I might have to look for a different sweet corn, we'll see. I'm going to do some peas, got to do peas. I'm just going to do first earlies and petit pois. Usually I do first earlies, second earlies, main crop. I do um, mange to petit pois. I do them in succession. Not going to do that this year. I am just going to do my first earlies and my petit pois. And once they go over, then I'll either maybe direct sow something in the bed or I'll just work the bed and cover it and leave it till next year. Might even plant some flowers in there. I'm going to do cucumber which are Market Moor and Diva. They're an outside cu cucumber. Doesn't matter if they cross pollinate. You don't have to do the male and the female flowers. You start them off inside and then when it's warm enough way after the last frost. You plant them out and they just go wild and you leave them to it and they're great. You can pick them really small or when they're quite big. And then I'm going to do some brassicas but I'm not going to do loads and loads of different varieties 
I am going to do kohlrabi if I could only grow one brassica a year it would be kohlrabi I've got some little kosh um, tunnels for them because they don't grow quite big this year I have got a massive frame I think it's like a scaffolding net the pot neighbour that left she left it for me she said I could have it and she um, she's made this cover for it and sewn it up so in there this year I am going to do purple sprouting broccoli because I absolutely love it it costs a fortune in the shop it's quite low maintenance and you just get so much off a couple of plants so that's one thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna do some kales i do um, a red russian kale because it's really hardy and you can eat it like a lettuce leaf so you can cook it or eat it raw because it's quite soft it's not fibrous and tough like some kales then i'm gonna do a tuscan kale which is the long leafed one and i think it's um you know a great substitute for cabbage as well because i won't be growing cabbages this year so i can use the kale as a cabbage as well i am going to do a romanesco cauliflower because they're super hard to get hold of my son absolutely loves them uh, they're quite expensive the only place i've seen them is in sainsbury's they're like a green spiky cauliflower a light green spiky cauliflower gorgeous so i will be doing some of them and i'm also doing a nine star broccoli which is a perennial cauliflower i've grown it before i bought a plant but now i've got some seeds they last for three years it's meant to be perennial but after three years they they you know they don't do so well you get loads of little shoots off one plant so i'm going to be doing some of them and that's it guys that's all I'm going to do this year. I was I was thinking about doing aubergines and peppers again. And I thought, no, don't. Don't. Just do it small. And then maybe next year I will miss doing them and think, yeah, I'm going to do them again. Um, I've got more time or, you know, I can manage that. But I'm just going to scale it right back this year. Usually I do like celeriac and celery, swede cabbages broccoli cauliflower to uh, tomatillos oh loads loads of different lettuces loads of different this loads of different that and i'm just gonna really really simplify it this year and i'm gonna plant loads of flowers loads of flowers i want my pot to look super pretty the plot that I'm leaving, I had two plots. I'm just going to go down to the one plot now. The plot I'm leaving, oh, I've got so many flowers on there. But I'm not taking them from there. I'm taking them over to my new plot, uh, my old plot, because um, that plot has mare's tail on it and my old plot doesn't. So I don't want to risk it. Um, so I will be going, growing loads of flowers this year. Yay! Oh, I get so excited so excited let me show you what seeds i've bought right then i bought some settings i bought some butternut squash hunter and i also bought some beetroot golden eye i always do boltardi it's been rubbish this last couple of years i had um a few of these yellow ones last year or golden ones also bought a a red one as well but i'll show you that in a minute and i also bought some pumpkins these are crafty pumpkins then these are from thompson and morgan oh my gosh these are kew garden seeds and i just love their packaging they're so the envelopes are so so pretty okay so this squash is called buffy ball and it grows loads of tiny round squash like a butternut squash but they're round and i absolutely love them i was looking for autumn crown i love doing autumn crown as well but i couldn't find any um so anyway i've gone for buffy ball then i've got these tricolor squash because i grew these last year and they were amazing absolutely amazing i think i just got yellow or did I, I just have green ones i didn't have any yellow ones that was it sorry so there's dark green a light green and a yellow and last year i don't think i got any yellow ones i just got dark green and light green and it's a bit of a it's a bit of a guess what you're gonna get 
bit of a surprise. I won't be growing all of these. And these seed packets, guys, were 89p. The courgettes were meant to be £4.49 and the Kew Garden Buffy Ball Squash were meant to be £4.69. Okay, let me show you the vegetables that I got from the Happy Green Shop. Their sale is amazing. Go over, have a look. They've got loads of seeds from like 21p. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, I said I was growing tomatoes this year like I always do. Last year I grew a few different varieties because I didn't have as many yellow pear. The yellow pear cherry tomato that I always grow. I didn't have that many. So I thought, oh, I've got some other seeds. I'll grow them. So I grew like little red ones, I grew the Gardener's Delight, I grew a honey one which was like an orangey colour and they were okay, yeah they were fine but I won't be doing them again this year, I'm just going to stick to my yellow pear, um, I grow them in pots at home, I don't grow them in the allotment and they always seem to be the last tomato plant to get blight and even if the plant gets blight it doesn't really go into the tomato until, you know, later on in the season. But these didn't get blight at all last year. Nothing. I got some yellow courgette, just normal courgette. I grow these every year because I like them better than the green ones. I think they're a little bit sweeter and they just look bright and like summer. It's like eating sunshine. <laughs> Ah, right then, these are the red beetroots that I got and they're more of a cylinder so they're long and thin instead of round um, so we'll see how these do I just got these because they were on sale and then I got some kohlrabi seeds, yay I got some purple ones and I got some giant green ones now I have got some normal green ones as well that I will grow. These giant ones are later on in the season. So you plant them maybe July, August and they grow September, October. But once you pick these giant ones, they're really good at being stored. Lettuce. Now then, I usually grow loads and loads of different lettuce. But this year, I am not. My favourite lettuce of all time is Black Seeded Simpson. I love it. You don't need to take the whole head. You can take the whole lettuce up or you can use it as um, cut and come again and just pick the like, leaves on the outside. It does grow to be massive. It's bright green, it's crunchy and it's gorgeous. And yeah, it's called Black Seeded Simpson. So I've got some of them. Oh, Wilco's. I'm going to miss Wilco so much. I miss it, but you know, I... I loved going in there to look at their seeds. I bought my propagator from there. They had the most amazing gardening stuff. I would buy my chicken manure pellets from there, my wellies, my crocs, everything. Um, tools, netting. So just before the shop closed down here in Cardiff, I went in and I got this mustard ruby streaks it's called, it's like a red one, this is no good in the summer but for now um, to grow in the spring, gorgeous and then also then towards the autumn and this tastes like new potatoes, it says you can cook it and you can put it in stir fries, I never do, I just love it, pick it really young Mm, tastes like new potatoes so yeah I got these packets for 10p when Wilco's was closing they don't go out of date until December 2026 and I bought three packets of them oh herbs I bought some herbs okay so from Sutton's I bought an orange scented thyme I've got normal thyme I've got silver thyme I think I've got golden time if they all pull through. And then I got these from, oh, oh gosh, sorry guys. I've got some leeks here as well. These are giant mammoth leeks that I got from the Happy Green shop. Um, but if I don't grow these uh, this year, it doesn't matter because these seeds don't go out of date till December 2025. They'll, they'll even be fine after that. But yeah, so what did I get? I got some summer savory i grow winter savory at my allotment i had a look for it today i cannot see it so i don't think it survived 
um, but winter savoury is a perennial and I grow it to go with my Jerusalem artichokes, uh, it's just match made in heaven. But this is summer savoury, I'm not sure if it's a perennial or not, but I thought oh, I would have preferred winter savoury but they didn't have any on sale so I just went for the summer savoury. I've got some caraway seeds, yay! Now then, when I grow herbs and flowers and things like that, I want them to have a multi-purpose use. The caraway is really, really ace for eating. It's a lovely herb to preserve, to get the seeds. It looks really, really pretty. You can use it in um, a vase of cut flowers. The pollinators and the insects absolutely love it too. So it has loads of ace ace uses. So that's why I like getting caraway. Same with these two. One is dill. I have dill seed called bouquet and I just grow it for cut flowers. You can eat it. The pollinators love it. And also with dill, it keeps away like ants and aphids and things like that. So it's um, it's got another use as well, but you can use it as a cut flower. You can use it in the kitchen. It attracts pollinators and feeds the insects, but it's also a pest deterrent. So yay, all round for dill. And then I have a nigella black cumin seeds so I grow nigella love in a mist as a flower and then I like growing this one as a herb and they're also beautiful as a cut flower their seed pods are so so beautiful so that's what I got herb wise and then I got some flowers Okay, so I got a zinnia, a cactus zinnia. Now I've seen a cactus dahlia, but not a zinnia, so we'll see. Then I also bought some dwarf, dwarf dahlias. This will be going at the allotment. I can grow some here to put in the garden for my dad. I can put some in pots. Because like I said, I want to be, I want to grow loads of flowers on my plot this year because I can just stick them in and it'll make it look pretty. It'll keep the weeds down. I grow calendula. I don't even sow any calendula seeds now because they pop up everywhere, but I let them go over. They go kind of really woody and I collect that and it makes a really good mulch then for next year. So I've got loads of calendula plants last year. They went to seed, I just left them, they went dry, they were all woody and I'll collect them now and I'll mulch them around my fruit bushes. I also got a butterfly mix. I want to try and attract as many insects and pollinators and birds and just everything wildlife to my plot. Not the big mousies though, because um, they tend to make a mess. But in here, what I can see is cornflower, Californian poppy, poppy, zinnia, dahlia. I think there's a couple of sunflower seeds there. I've got calendula seeds, um, nigella asters so yeah a little bit of everything and i got it because these were on sale and then i also love growing uh marigolds so the calendula are called pot marigolds and um, and these are just normal french marigolds oh sorry these are african marigolds because they're bigger now then the slugs and snails absolutely love marigolds so I grow these as well as being pretty, but I do grow them as a sacrifice crop because the slugs and snails then, well, the plan is for them to go after the flowers and leave my veg alone. They're also great at deterring things like aphids and ants and they're really, really strong smelling. So like carrot root fly as well. Thompson and Morgan, I got some royal bride snapdragons i got a californian poppy peach peach sorbet i got a scabios salmon queen and then i got um a nigella loving the mist and this is called african bride and it's just a white one i've got some really dark blue ones so i'm hoping the dark blue and purple and this 
they'll look amazing. Yep, so those are the seeds I bought with that Happy Green shop as well. Every year that I've ordered off them, they always send a little freebie and this year is a Cypress Vine Mix. Not a clue what they are, I will have to have a nosy, um, but I have got a metal arch that my pot neighbour that's left has given me and so these will be perfect to grow around the metal arch and then I also got these plastic labels loads and loads of them right then let me show you what else I got I always go on about growing herbs I just think they're amazing amazing oh things are how you can do so much with them you can drink them as tea you can have them in cooking you can have them in your flower displays you can use them as medicine they're just amazing so i always say if you've only got got a little space grow some herbs or even if you've just got a windowsill grow some herbs if you're not into gardening you can uh, buy the pots of living herbs if looked after properly those little pots can last you all year and so yeah I yak on all the time about growing herbs love growing herbs and at home I I have loads of herbs in my dad's garden as well and mainly mint so I have pineapple mint apple mint chocolate mint normal mint and then I went on eBay and I bought some more mint now this lady has a shop called mad about mint it came today through the letterbox in this little pot in this little package and she has over 90 different varieties of mint 90 and so she sends you six different mint including postage and packaging for 11 pounds it's 10.99 i asked for berries and cream black currant cucumber japanese grapefruit and jack green and I managed to get them all and she sent me them. Yeah, so I'm gonna pop them on. So I've got some new, new mint this year. Mint is very evasive, so I always grow it in pots. Oh, so yeah, guys, that is what I am gonna be growing this year. That is what I have bought. The flowers, I'm gonna be doing some sweet peas if you want. If you want to start growing stuff now, there's a few things you can start growing. I'm going to plant some sweet peas. You could do peppers, chilies, sweet peppers, chilies, aubergines, uh, leeks, onions, carrots. You can do carrots in tubs now if you want to, in buckets. Right then, thanks for watching guys. Take care and I will see you soon. Happy growing!